Your tabletop issue is avoiding conflict. Avoiding conflict. You know, I probably asked you to work on this because I did exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure no one else in the room does this. <laughs> avoiding conflict. Yeah. Now, I'm just curious, but when we say avoiding conflict, how do you feel in your body when you say that? And let's just give those places in your body a number. So how big is the number in your chest? So probably like a six. Okay. So like a four. Okay. Let's start with a recent time when you avoided conflict. Um, I had to tell. Uh, I had to address an issue with someone that I supervise with um, a situation that she didn't handle very well. And I really didn't want to do it. So I waited until the end of the day, and then I kind of just <coughs> did it really fast. Yeah, feeling uncomfortable all the time. Mm -hmm. You feel that same sensation in your stomach and chest when you were. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, that sensation in your body is a good guide to the steam. Mm -hmm. It should be you. Yeah. yeah. So now use that body sensation and use that as a guide to travel back in time to an early time you felt that. What was happening then? It's actually an incident I tapped on the other day. Um, I was in sixth grade and I raised my hand to to ask a question and I got yelled at. And I had that same tightness in my chest. How big is the number of thinking about that sixth grade incident now? Okay, think of another event that happened when you felt the same physical feeling. I guess any time, any time I have to like speak or not speak, but maybe um, just like I think raising my hand in class, like even in big groups, that's why I usually don't raise my hand. I get that tension in my chest. Okay. Was there a time recently you had to? Raise your hand. You had raised your hand. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm helping some people work that. Yeah. 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 What else did work up here? What else did raise your hand? No. When you said um, when you were talking about people who hadn't raised their hands. So oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Have to raise your hand. <laughs> So thinking back to that moment, what was the number actually back then when I asked that? Probably like a seven. Okay. So even for current day, similar events, it's a seven. Mm -hmm. How big was your number when you had to talk to your person you were supervising about what they messed up? Um, maybe like five. Five, okay. Let's go back to the sixth grade event when you had to when you raised your hand, you got yelled at. Feel that in your body. Let me feel it. Just freeze that moment in time. Think about that moment. Be yelled at. Are you still five or are you? It'd be more like a seven. More like a seven. Like seven. Really okay. okay, yeah. Two minutes. Two seven, okay. Okay, so feel at seven and think about other events in your childhood when you felt that physical feeling. Um, 
Um, probably getting yelled at for doing something wrong. Think of a time when you get all that. That time. <laughs> hey, you don't have to tell us what the time was or what you were doing. Uh, okay. But um, if it was a movie, just give it a title, and not give us a title, it would be hard. We want to happen. Um, I don't know what I was yelling at for. Um, but I was on, uh, like on the, I was on my bed. And I guess scared. Okay. Okay, and how old were you then? For a moment. So we spent about uh, four minutes over here. We got one, two, three, we got four legs so far. When she had to supervise the person and she was uncomfortable recently, when she raised her hand here in the workshop, those the recent events, when in sixth grade she raised her hand and got yelled at, and when she remembers me yelling at it, it 10 and she was on her bed. So then it took us less than five minutes to find four table legs. It's not that hard to find table legs. And so when you're actually doing the exercise in pairs, you'll do exactly the same thing with people. I just want to make a point here strongly that once you go to the tabletop, it's not hard to find legs. Just keep asking questions. I'm asking, am I being brilliant? No. I'm just asking simple questions. How does it feel in your body? What's the first time you felt that way? Super, 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 super simple way to find legs underneath the tabletop. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll work on just one of those legs. And I have my inclination to be to work on the, um, on the sixth grade one. <coughs> Because it's the earliest, and it's the same sun levels on the other seven. Seven's going to be your, your number. <laughs> so, um, actually, before we do that, can you just ask one more time to see if it was any earlier that you recall when you had the same physical feeling?
probably Thailand what will work. So I, I heard my sister or okay. Yeah. So yeah, we just drop it in. So that's quite good. Even though I heard my sister. Even though I heard my sister. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I hurt my sister. Even though I hurt my sister. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I hurt my sister. Even though I hurt my sister. I still deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I hurt my sister, I still deeply and completely accept myself. I love myself. I love myself. Even though I hurt my sister. Even though I hurt my sister. Alright. Hey, okay. I hurt my sister. 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 Okay, one more breath. What will be right now? Let me title. Six. Six. Okay. Okay. Let's do the nine gamut around that. So gamut point. Close your eyes and open them. Eyes are out to the left. Eyes are out to the right. I hurt my sister. I hurt my sister. Eyes the big slow circle all the way around. I hurt my sister. I hurt my sister. Good. I hurt my sister. 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 I was the opposite direction. I hurt my sister. I hurt my sister. I hurt my sister. I hurt my sister. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Even though I hurt my sister. Even though I hurt my sister. Okay, breath. What's happening now? Zero. Zero, yeah. yeah. It looked as if it was zero when you were in the first round of I moves as well. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. yeah, it looked, yeah. I don't know if it looked like you, but it looked yeah. like you. Uh, yeah. <coughs> so um, let's tell the story now from the very beginning, neutral point. So neutral point was? Was um, my little sister came up to my room. I, I, my room was in the attic, so she came up the stairs. And she was sitting on the top step. Um, and I wanted her to get out and she wouldn't leave, so I started yelling at her. That's where the yelling issue comes from. I started yelling at her. What are we right now? I started yelling at her. I started yelling at her. We can eat. So that's a good one. That's an aspect. So even though, even though I yelled at her, I yelled at her. I love and accept myself. I have a hard time loving and accepting myself because I yelled at my sister. I'll always talk to her while I just have. When I remember yelling at my sister, I have a very hard time accepting myself. I'm thinking back to yelling at her. We're thinking back to yelling at her. And I have a hard time accepting myself. And I have a hard time accepting myself. I have a hard time accepting that I did that. I have a hard time accepting that I did this. I have a point. I don't accept myself. I don't accept myself. I do accept myself. I do accept myself. I sometimes accept myself. I sometimes accept myself. I rarely accept myself. I rarely accept myself. And you're right. I usually find fault with myself. I usually find fault with myself. I'm not very self-accepting. I'm not very self-accepting. I'm not very self-loving. I'm not very self-loving. I'm quick to find fault with myself. I'm quick to find fault with myself. Even though I'm trying so hard to be a good person. Even though I'm trying so hard to be a good person. I love and accept this version of me. I love and accept this version of me. I don't love and accept this version of me. I don't love and accept this version of me. I love and accept all versions of me. I love and accept all versions of me. Except for this one. Except for this one. I'm not always perfect. I'm not always perfect. I need to be perfect always. I need to be perfect always. I should never yell at people. I should never yell at people. 
I should avoid conflict at all costs. I should avoid conflict at all costs. Even the cost of being me. Even the cost of being me. I'll give up being me. I'll give up being me. To avoid conflict. To avoid conflict. It's more dangerous. It's more dangerous. To have conflict. To have conflict. Than to be me. I don't trust conflict. I don't trust conflict. I don't trust there'll be a good outcome. I don't trust there'll be a good outcome. I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself. I don't trust what I might do. I don't trust what I might do. If there's a conflict. I keep myself in check. That doesn't always work. When I yell at people, bad things happen. I have a hard time accepting myself. I accept myself completely. I don't accept myself at all. I rarely accept myself. I rarely accept myself. I'm not acceptable. I'm not acceptable. I am acceptable. I am acceptable. I'm not acceptable. I'm not acceptable. I am acceptable. I am acceptable. Parts of me are acceptable. Parts of me are acceptable. Parts of me are unacceptable. Parts of me are unacceptable. And I can't get rid of them. And I can't get rid of them. They're still there. They're still there. And they come into conflict with others. And they come into conflict with others. And I can't get rid of them. And I can't get rid of them. I can't suppress them. I can't suppress them. No matter how hard I try. No matter how hard I try. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. Being the way I am. Being the way I am. I love and accept parts of myself. I love and accept parts of myself. And not other parts of myself. And not other parts of myself. Parts of me are acceptable. Parts of me are acceptable. Parts of me are unacceptable. Parts of me are unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. And I wish I could have only the acceptable parts. And I wish I could have only the acceptable parts. And not have the unacceptable parts. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want those parts. <laughs> well, they erase those parts. <laughs> And I can't. And I can't. Even though I try. Even though I try. <laughs> I'll give up being me. I'll give up being me. To avoid conflict. To avoid conflict. But I know I'm losing. But I know I'm losing. A big chunk of who I am. A big chunk of who I am. And I'm not willing to do that anymore. I'm not willing to do that anymore. I want to be who I am. I want to be who I am. Even if sometimes. Even if sometimes. That means conflict. That means conflict. Back of your hand, down the point, close right over to them. <coughs> Keeping your head steady, eyes far down to the left, eyes far down to the right. Eyes in a slow, big circle all the way around. Being me. Being me. Conflict. Conflict. Avoiding. Avoiding. Not avoiding. Not avoiding. Being perfect. Being perfect. Being imperfect. Being imperfect. Not being me. Not being me. Taking care of other people. Taking care of other people. Not taking care of myself. Not taking care of myself. Never taking care of myself. Never taking care of myself. Rarely taking care of myself. Rarely taking care of myself. Always taking care of myself. Always taking care of myself. Whether or not. Whether or not. I take care of myself. I take care of myself. I accept who I am. I accept who I am. Okay, eyes the other direction. Taking care of myself. Taking care of myself. Taking care of others. Taking care of others. By avoiding conflict. By avoiding conflict. By not being me. By not being me. It's not safe to be me. It's not safe to be me. It is safe to be me. It is safe to be me. I never know for sure. I never know for sure. Okay, follow my finger from over to here. You're, you're skipping a little spot here. So, tap the other point. Just put this one little place over here where you're skipping over. It's safe to be me. Safe to be me. Safe to have my feelings. Safe to have my feelings. My feelings aren't safe. My feelings aren't safe. If I express them. I express them. I'll hurt other people. I'll hurt other people. Expressing your feelings. Expressing your feelings. Means hurting others. Means hurting others. Means I hurt my sister. Means I hurt my sister. I hurt other people. I hurt other people. <coughs> and it makes it makes it hard. And it makes it hard to love myself. To love myself. To accept myself. To accept myself. Because I hurt people. Because I hurt people. I have these feelings. I do have these feelings. I do have these feelings. But I can't get rid of them. And I can't get rid of them. No matter how hard I try. No matter how hard I try. 
I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. Being this highly imperfect human being. Being this highly imperfect human being. Trying to be perfect. Trying to be perfect. And failing miserably. Except I can never love and accept myself. Except I can never love and accept myself. Because she fell down the stairs. Because she fell down the stairs. Elisa fell down the stairs. Elisa fell down the stairs. Therefore, Therefore I will never love or accept myself again. <laughs> Therefore, I will never love or accept myself again. Elisa fell down the stairs. 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 Took a big breath there, so I just wanted to yeah. make sure it you. Mm -hmm. The part about like never being able to love or accept myself just made me laugh. <laughs> <It's> so <silly. laughs> but it seemed so much more real. Right. I know. Yeah. 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 We have those thoughts, you know, mm -hmm. that be a good enough person. So, right. Yeah. So tune back into that scene in the movie, that emotional crescendo, when Lisa fell down the stairs. Yeah, so I remember looking at her mm -hmm. at the bottom of the stairs, there was a landing, and thinking I paralyzed her. Okay, so even though I thought I paralyzed her, and even though I thought I paralyzed her, I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept. I deeply and completely accept the version of myself. The version of myself that had the thought that had the thought I paralyzed her. 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 I was afraid I paralyzed her. I was afraid I paralyzed her. I thought I might have paralyzed her. I thought I might have paralyzed her. I paralyzed her. I paralyzed her. I didn't paralyze her. I didn't paralyze her. I could have paralyzed 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 her. I didn't paralyze her. I didn't paralyze her. I paralyze myself sometimes. I paralyze myself sometimes. I paralyze myself often. <laughs> I paralyze myself often. And I forgive myself for that too. And I forgive myself for that too. I forgive myself for paralyzing. I forgive myself for paralyzing. The little girl then. Just quiet and say anything that's fine. Sometimes the little girl is paralyzed. Wants to avoid conflict. Wants to avoid conflict. I love and accept that part of me. I love and accept that part of me. I wish it were different. I wish it were different. And it's not different. It's not different. And I accept myself that way. And I accept myself that way. Because this is the only me. Because this is the only me. That there is. That there is. This is the only me there is. This is the only me there is. I need to live with it. I need to live with it. I need to love it. I need to love it. Because it's me. Because it's me. The eye is a big circle again, so at the other point, big slow circle, hitting every point of the compass.
being me. Being me. People get hurt. People get hurt. If there's conflict. If there's a conflict. If there's a conflict. If there's a conflict. And I am me. And I am me. People get hurt. People get hurt. I accept myself. I accept myself. Even though. Even though. If there's a conflict. If there's a conflict. People get hurt. People get hurt. If you reverse the direction of travel of your eyes. People getting hurt. People getting hurt. Me being me. Me being me. But often when I have me. But often when I have me. People heal. People heal. People get a lot. People get a lot. From me being me. From me being me. People get a lot of love. People get a lot of love. From me being me. From me being me. Maybe I'm really scared. Maybe I'm really scared. Of all the love. <laughs> of all the love. I have to give. I have to give. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. I give a lot of love. I give a lot of love. I try very hard. I try very hard. And this is me too. And this is me too. This is me. This is me. This is who I am. This is who I am. I love and accept. I love and accept. This version of me. This version of me. With all these conflicts. With all these conflicts. Flaws. Flaws. And imperfections. And imperfections. You say the breath. Back into your body again, see how you feel. My chest feels a little tighter, maybe like a two. Okay. My shoulders feel really relaxed. Okay. Yeah, like a zero. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead and have you tell the whole story of Lisa again. Keep tapping the whole way through. If you have to really hide that, let me know. So my sister Lisa came up to my room. And she was sitting at the top of the steps. And I asked her to leave, and she said no. So I yelled at her to leave, and she still said no. So I pushed her down the stairs, and I saw her lying at the bottom of the stairs, and I thought I paralyzed her. And then? And then she got up, and I thought, thank God, I didn't paralyze her. And she cried and she ran and told my mom. And then my mom came upstairs and yelled at me. And I thought she was gonna hit me because she was so mad. And she What did be around that mom yelling at you? Like a three. That was really the high point before. Okay. That, I thought I was a step with that. Okay. Yeah, then, okay. Um so she yelled at me, I thought she was gonna hit me, she didn't. And then she left. And then you were pulling me off that into you. Yeah, I sat underneath my desk and cried because I felt so bad. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then I apologized. And she was fine. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, what's number right now around that event called by her my sister? Like a one. Like a one. Yeah. yeah. Good. Let's check in with the other events now, too. You've done the early one. So let's go back to. I was on my bed getting yelled at, getting scared. Okay. That was actually the same event. Same event. That was when mom came out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then sixth grade, raise my hand and yell that. That's the zero. Zero. Yeah. Okay. How about um, when you had to go and talk with the person you were supervising? Your body's a good guy, I can see you thinking about the question, referencing your body, and then telling me which is exactly the right thing to do. Yeah. And then today, when I asked you to come up and work, mm-hmm. kind of drew up here. Yeah, zero. 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 Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, I cried so much. <laughs> We had to set the version of the quiet. <laughs> we all set the version of the quiet. You. <laughs> you are probably the last person in the group that set the version of you, so yeah. I'm glad you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's a joy, it's a pleasure. Yeah.